The Great Lakes have been a popular destination for families and nature lovers ever since families and nature lovers could venture out and about. Often, they are seen as the gentle, small cousins to the ocean, which offers a bounty of dangers and dismaying situations. But alas, the Great Lakes offer just as many dangers, if not more. From tornadoes to blood-sucking fish that swim just below the surface, here is a small selection of scary facts regarding the Great Lakes. 1. Lake Superior has produced rogue waves. Lake Superior, largest of the Great Lakes, has been known to produce near-mythical rogue waves, similar to those found at sea. This is from the Duluth News Tribune. Scientists at the University of Wisconsin-Madison have confirmed the phenomenon of rogue waves on Lake Superior waves double the size of others at the same time and which have been named as a potential cause of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. 2. They're home to thousands of shipwrecks. The Great Lakes contain at least 6,000 shipwrecks, with some estimates going as high as 20,000. Due to sudden changes in the weather, the Great Lakes have become the final resting stop for thousands of ships. According to Chris Gilchrist, executive director of the National Museum of the Great Lakes, the lakes are home to more shipwrecks per surface square mile than any other body of water in the world. 3. Lake Michigan's rip currents can drag swimmers away from shore. Due to the configuration of Lake Michigan, powerful currents can form quickly, creating deadly circumstances for those nearby. Due to these longshore and rip currents, Lake Michigan is regarded as the most dangerous of the Great Lakes. For Lake Ontario can become so cold it is considered lethal. When you hit that cold water you gasp and get what's called cold water shock, Ted Rankin of the Canadian Safe Boating Council said in an interview yesterday. You have one minute to get control of your breathing. You have ten minutes of meaningful movement to rescue yourself. And in the coldest water you have one hour before hypothermia kicks in. But hypothermia is not what typically kills early season boating victims, he warned. Many are dead long before their core temperature falls into the danger zone, their muscles rendered immobile by the cold within minutes. 5. A cyclone once developed on Lake Huron. Hurricanes need strong heat flux to help transfer energy from the water into themselves, and normally, the Great Lakes are too cold for this to occur. However, in September 1996, a combination of unusually warm lake water and an unusually cold mid-latitude cyclone created the Huron Cane or Hurricane Huron, a storm system that greatly resembled typical hurricanes in many ways. 6. They contain enough water to flood North and South America. There is enough water in Lake Superior to flood the entire landmasses of North and South America to a depth of one foot. It contains over three quadrillion gallons of fresh water. 7. The lakes can spawn tornadoes. Lake Michigan has been an occasional source for violent and powerful tornadoes. In 1956, one such tornado destroyed the Saugatuck Lighthouse in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Eight blood-sucking lampreys live in the lakes. Sea lampreys invaded the Great Lakes in the early 20th century through shipping canals. Canals. In their native range, lampreys live part of their lives in salt water, but they have adapted to living entirely in fresh water in the Great Lakes. As adults, they spawn in rivers and streams. Nine radioactive material is stored on the shores of the Great Lakes. More than 60,000 tons of highly radioactive spent nuclear fuel is stored on the shores of four of the five Great Lakes, in some cases, mere yards from the waterline in still-growing stockpiles. It's actually the most dangerous waste produced by any industry in the history of the Earth, said Gordon Edwards, president of the non-profit Canadian Coalition for Nuclear Responsibility. Ten piranhas have invaded the Great Lakes. The large, South American tropical fish were probably illegally dumped in the Great Lakes by pet owners who no longer wanted to keep them in aquariums. Three large vegetarian piranhas with human-like teeth have been discovered in Michigan, amid growing concern among wildlife officials over tropical and invasive fish infiltrating the Great Lakes region. 11. Lake Michigan was the site of an alleged shark bite. The Shark Research Institute notes there was a shark attack in Chicago in 1955, when George Lawson was bitten by a bull shark in Lake Michigan. Though the story seems unlikely, experts say a bull shark wandering this far from sea is not outside the realm of possibility. 12. The lakes are eroding. Due to climate change and warmer winters, the water levels of several great lakes are rising, creating a path of destruction that includes the loss of beachfront communities and property. 
Climate change is increasing erosion on what's known as the nation's third coast, the Great Lake shoreline. And that's threatening beaches, parks and other recreation, recreation areas used by people from cities across the region. 13. The Lake Michigan Triangle has claimed several lives. The first wreck was that of a lumber ship, the Thomas Hume. On May 21, 1891, it set sail from Chicago after dropping off a lumber load. One ship, the Rao Simmons, this will have a few mentions, said that they saw foreboding clouds in the distance, indicating a storm. The Rao Simmons decided to turn back, while the Thomas Hume went along. The Thomas Hume was not seen again until 2006, according to Milwaukee Magazine, in near-perfect condition. Next up, two decades later, the Rao Simmons set sail from Muskegon, and just like the Thomas Hume, it disappears. What is odd about the case is that it was seen in clear conditions flying a distress flag by the Kiwani Lifesaving Station while being blown southward by a northwest gale. It was going too fast to send boats out, so Kiwani Station notified the station 25 miles south, two rivers. They sent out boats, but when they arrived at the approximate location it should have been, the Rao Simmons had disappeared. There is a popular story about the crew being stuck in a fleeting ice storm and snowstorm. While partially true, it began at 5 o'clock, while after the Rouse Simmons sank, it still doesn't involve the Rouse Simmons. This ship would also be found, 6 miles northeast of Raleigh Point, with coordinates at 16.640 foot n, 087 degrees 24.863 w. According to Wisconsin shipwrecks, the vessel was found facing northwest, not south. This is odd because then it would have intercepted the Two Rivers lifesaving boat. When divers went down there, they found that the anchor was most likely being prepared to go down. This is odd because they couldn't have done it with the load of Christmas trees they had. The captain's wallet would turn up in 1923, near two rivers, ironically. 14. They are much, much bigger than people think. A few of the Great Lakes are larger than many seas and contain 20% of the world's fresh water. They cover more than 94,000 square miles and hold an estimated 6 quadrillion gallons of water, about one-fifth of the world's fresh surface water supply and nine-tenths of the U.S. supply. 15. The Black Dog of Lake Erie This creepy story takes place in the Welland Canal, where a ship's mascot, a large black Newfoundland dog, fell overboard and was crushed by the gate of a canal lock. Perhaps angered by the crew's inability or unwillingness to rescue him, the black dog was then said to haunt them at night with endless baying howls. The black dog is said to appear on ships that are about to get into trouble, appearing on deck or climbing aboard from the water, crossing the ship and leaping off the other side. The dog is linked to the wreck of the Mary Jane in Lake Erie in 1881 and has even traveled to other Great Lakes, being sighted on doomed ships on both Lake Ontario and Lake Michigan.